madrone tree that has been previously burned a couple seasons ago in a wildland fire. This one right here. So as you can see, it's already currently dead. And the, the young, the youth, no. and it's already sprouting up. It's a really resilient tree and it uh, does really well in this forest that I live in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to size up my tree. I'm going to go up, look at the situation, see where the lean is, and then I'm going to cut all the hazard branches out of the way so that I'm not tripping and stumbling over them as I cut the tree. The one thing that you have to really watch while you're cutting madrones is a thing called barber chair. And basically what happens is it um, it's such a twisty growing tree that it has different leans and uh, binds in it. So, so what can happen is as you're cutting it, it's a thing called barber chair and then it snaps back and breaks off and it can be pretty dangerous. So you judge it the best you can as far as where the lean is, the heaviest part of the tree is leaning towards and you try to cut it in that direction. So basically that's what I'm going to do at the moment. There's a lot of a lot of fuel around it. I'm going to trim up before I actually start cutting the tree, but that's basically what I'm going to do. Let's get to it. I'm going to trim a little bit more of this so I have an escape route as I cut the tree. This is what is called the dead man zone and uh, you don't want to be in this area as you're doing your back cut at all. So basically if I do need to escape rapidly, it's going to be in this direction. And so the reason this is called the dead man side of the tree is because the tree has uh, most of its lean this way. No matter where you put your face cut, it's going to want to go this way. You can control it slightly in the, the way that you do uh, put your face cut and back cut and such, but it's going to want to naturally go this way because most of the lean is this way. Um, if you look at it this way, you, and you hold your plumb up and down straight, at least 10 feet of side lean. And if you look at it this way, you can see that it's got quite a bit of head lean up top. So like I said, it's gonna to wanna to pull in this direction. And so naturally, that's the way I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Um, so when I put my face cut in here, I'm gonna do a conventional cut. And then I'm gonna do my back cut on this side of the tree and going about roughly one and a half inches above the face cut. So that's the plan, let's see how it goes. I got a nice level face cut in here and uh, this inch and a half is what OSHA actually requires like specs so that the tree don't kick back and get ya. So when you guys cut madrones do you go about the same way or what's your techniques? I'd be interested in knowing down below. Let me know in the comments below what you might be interested in seeing next. Um, we have ponderosa pine, sugar pine, madrone, MS391, steel, saw, I've always preferred steel over huskies. Um, this is a professional chain, full skip, it does real good. And uh, the saw is pretty amazing, definitely get it again.